as you can see in front of you, I have a new panel. This is my Simplex 4010 addressable fire alarm panel. I've had this for a little while, but I just recently put it up on the board, and I figured what better time than tonight to uh, show this off, as you probably saw with the new intro. The uh, I made some changes to the board, and now I have this Simplex 4010. So, first things first, I'm going to actually open up this panel, and we'll look inside the uh, case and kind of show you what's going on there, and then I'll show you the device setups. So, I'll be right back with you. Alright, so we got the panel opened up here. Um, so, there's not a whole lot going on in here right now, just because I don't have a whole lot actually set up on here. But you can see we are using two NACs, NAC 1 and 3. NAC 1 is the horn NAC, and NAC 3 is the strobe NAC. You'll see that I do have the resistors in the panel, just because it's a demo system, and it doesn't really need to be supervised. We also have uh, ID net right here in these smaller terminals going out there. You can see we've got the main system board right here, the SFIO board, right in there. And we actually have a, uh, a dialer card in here, although I'm not using it obviously. Um, in fact, this data cable for it isn't even hooked into the board. But um, it's there for show, and I think it's kind of nice that the panel came with it. You'll notice that um, even though I do have battery cables in here, I am doing the uh, battery hack just for right now, because I have a battery in here. But uh, I have misplaced the other one, so we're not using it right now. So uh, something kind of interesting with this particular panel is that I've actually had it for a little over a year now. I got it um, in December of 2020. But the reason I haven't used it until now is that it's actually been... Um, broken. If I grab this thing right here, um, this is the original SFIO board that was in this panel. And the problem with it is that when I would try to turn this panel on, okay, I'm getting this wrong. The original SFIO board is in here. Um, and, you know, for the first few days it worked perfectly fine. But then, um, the internal wiring, or uh, the internal communications bus uh, died on this. So, IDNet, NAX, relays, it wouldn't communicate with the central, with the CPU inside the panel, with the chipset. Um, so, I bought this board here, as I showed you, and this one, I think, had a bad chipset in it, and it wouldn't boot. So, something was mismatched with the board. The uh, panel wouldn't boot with the other board in there. So, what I ended up having to do is, I, uh, I did the I did a chip swap in here. So I replaced this and that chip. And that one right there, I just um, pulled them out and replaced them in this board. And now it works. So, because uh, you can actually replace those chips, interestingly enough. And uh, that seemed to solve it. So here it is in all of its glory, and uh, now it's fully working. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take you on a little tour of the devices installed. Alright, so this primary area of focus here is these two Simplex 4098-9714 smoke detectors. 
Um, these are just two extras I had. They are the exact same thing as what I use on the 4008 home system. But since I had a few more, and this is an addressable simplex panel, I put those two up on this board. You'll also notice kind of in the background, um, there's a new notification appliance spot on the 5820, and the 5820 smoke detectors were rearranged during this project. But that will be for another video. But there they are, two smoke detectors. The bottom one is address M12, and the top one is address M13. You'll notice that we have one single horn strobe spot that used to be um, the main horn strobe spot for the 5820, but it was repurposed as the horn strobe spot for the 4010. Right now I have a Simplex 4903-9254 horn strobe up there. Um, obviously we won't be demonstrating it today, but you'll get to see it soon enough. One horn strobe for the 4010 for right now. Um, and you'll also notice a uh, bit of a sneak peek for the 5820. The uh, carbon monoxide strobe is back. So, uh, once again, that's not part of the 4010, but you can see it in the shot. So, there it is. Alright, so finally we have the pull station for this system. And um, you'll notice this one is a very uh, frequent device seen in a lot of my videos. Couldn't think of the right way to say that for a second. Um, but it is my Simplex 4099-9003. In that spot for right now, you'll notice right beneath it the uh, is where the box for the monitor module is, but it's not in frame right now. But monitor module's down here. It's a 4090-9001, and that is address M1 dash one in the panel. So just like on the 5820 system, this will be interchanged from test to test, same as the uh, horn strobe. So there it is. All right, so uh, there it is. This is my new 4010 panel. I can't wait to uh, make a whole lot of videos with this, just like I have with the 5820 and the 4008. So, yeah, there it is. As always, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to check out the links in the description. Thank you, and have a great day.